we just need a quick and easy project and I have the perfect one for you today. We're gonna make these great little applique totes using these fun felt additions. So let me show you how to make it. So like I mentioned, sometimes we just need a really quick and easy project, something to make for a gift or for a friend. Um, and I think this really fits the bill. We have all kinds of wonderful holiday templates here at Missouri Star, whether you want these cute mushrooms, some trees, something more Christmassy. There's just really options for all kinds of different styles. So up first, you're gonna wanna grab one of those that you like or maybe a couple. I'm gonna use the mushrooms today. And then you're gonna wanna pick up this pack of our craft felt. And if you haven't used our felt before, it is super heavy duty, it's made so well, and it just is a really nice addition and texture to a project. So you're gonna grab that, some invisible thread, some fusible, and one of these ready to go canvas totes. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have my templates ready to go. I've peeled off that paper backing. For this particular project, you don't really need to see through it, so you can leave it on if you want. It's no big deal. And I'm gonna begin by grabbing a piece of my fusible. So I'm just gonna pull off a good size piece here and trim that. And then I am going to trace my shape using a pin onto the paper side of my fusible. All right, I'm just gonna trace all the way around. There we go, I'm just gonna do one of the large mushrooms and then we're gonna add in some of these little guys to go along with it. You don't need a ton of space in between. We're just gonna kind of roughly cut these out. There we go, and maybe one more. This part is really quite forgiving. We're just gonna, you know, trace around there and it's good to go. So then I'm just gonna use a straight edge here to kind of connect the tops of my mushrooms. There we go. because we are gonna make these separate colors. So just like so. And now I'm gonna use my scissors and I'm just gonna rough cut these out. We don't wanna cut right on the line now. We'll do that later. Just take your time and cut out however many you want to add to your bag. And one more. Perfect. And so then now I am going to just cut right along that line that I drew just to separate my tops and bottoms. just like so. And I'll just kind of keep them in little separate piles. All right, there we go. And so now I'm gonna pull the colors that I wanna use from my pack of felt, and I'm gonna use one piece of this white. Go ahead and Break this open here. So I'll use some of the white and some of the red for the tops of my mushroom. There we go. And so now we're gonna take our pieces, we're gonna go over to the ironing board and we will fuse all of these onto the felt. So let's go ahead and take these over here. And so we'll start with our red, which is gonna be all of the 
mushroom tops here. And so I am just gonna set this on the felt and press it in place. Beautiful. And then we can add these little guys as well. And I was kind of curious how this uh, felt would handle the heat of the iron, and it just does beautifully. has no issue at all. All right, now moving on, we'll do the same thing with our little stems of our mushroom. one more there we go all right once you have all of those fused in place we're just going to take a minute and now we're going to cut right on those lines that we drew so i'm going to go ahead and do that and i'll meet you back here all right i have cut out all of my shapes so here are the tops of my mushrooms and my cute little stems and i have my tote bag i went ahead and brought my pressing mat and my iron over here and just a reminder this has a protective layer, so I can use it safely on my mat, but you always wanna be really careful when you are using a pressing mat on top of a mat, a cutting mat. You just maybe don't wanna risk it, <laughs> but I know it's safe with this one. And so then we're just gonna take our tote bag and we are going to figure out where we would like these to go. So I'm just gonna start by peeling off the back of my fusible and setting these into place. So of course this large mushroom cap matches up with that stem. And they're not overlapping or anything like that because of the thickness of the felt. That's not something we wanna mess with. We're just butting them right up next to one another. Here's one of these little guys. And one more. I think I'm going to move this up just a little bit on this one. And then put this guy down here. I like that they can just kind of have some whimsy and some movement to them. There's really no rhyme or reason. You just kind of eyeball it and decide where you like it to go. And so now I'm going to go ahead and put a few little pins in here. Because we're dealing with some thick layers, of the felt and then also the canvas. I'm just gonna pin these in place and then we're gonna turn this inside out and we're gonna press it from inside. And that will just make sure that this really adheres. So just take your time and make sure you have everything where you want it. go see I'm pinning through both the stem and the mushroom just to make sure that they stay really close together there whatever works for you there we go all right I think those look great and so now I'm just gonna flip this insides out I am gonna just kind of peek in here and make sure that everything is still laying nicely. Double check to see if I need to add any other pins. But everything looks great from what I can tell. And so now we'll just finish making sure this lays as flat as we can get it. And then I can flip this over and give it a good press. So again, double checking. There we go. And you're just gonna wanna hold it on there long enough for that adhesive to really set. It might be a little longer than you're used to with standard quilting cotton just because of the thickness, but it will work just fine. There we go. And this guy down here. And 
And then now I always like to just kind of reach in here and make sure that things are fused. It looks like I need a little bit more on this large mushroom right here. And everything else has stuck just perfectly. All right, so now we can carefully turn it right sides out, of course, watching for those pins. There we go. Lovely. All right, those look really cute. So now we'll pull out our pins. And the next step is I took what was left of my little uh, white section here and I just cut some freehand circles. So you can either fold it and cut, but I figure these are, you know, mushrooms that are found in nature. They're probably not gonna be perfectly round. <laughs> so I just cut a few out. In fact, I liked them better when they were more kind of ovally and, and wonky than perfectly round. And you'll notice these do not have fusible on the back. That was kind of done on purpose. I just tested it out with the fusible and it was just too hard to get through all the layers. And I found a great way to add these without having any issues. And so here we go, we've got a few ready to go. And so now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna put some invisible thread into the top of your machine and some standard white thread or gray, whatever you are comfortable with into your bobbin. I really love this superior invisible thread. It just does a beautiful job. And to start with, I am just going to place my little dots on top of my mushroom. And then we're gonna go ahead and move my pressing mat out of the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the table off of my machine just to make it easier for me to work. There we go. I'll set that out of the way as well. And so then now for these little circles, that's the first thing we're gonna stitch down. And we're gonna lift our presser foot and I can just slide this right in. And I'm just gonna stitch an X across those circles to start with. And that is how I tacked them in place. There we go. And it's super easy because the felt kind of just holds itself together. So I don't even have to pin those in place. And back stitch a little bit. And then you'll just do that same thing um, until you've added all of your circles to both your large and your small mushrooms. And then I'm gonna come back around the outside edge with a um, blanket stitch or a zigzag, whatever style you like. So let's take a look here on the finished ones. You can see all these little, like some of these, I just did one straight line, some X's, a few little lines of stitching here, and then finished it off around with that blanket stitch. And the invisible thread just blends right in to that felt, which I think is so nice. I think it would be super cute to take some embroidery floss and maybe add some little grass or flowers kind of mixed in here with these mushrooms. I just ran out of time, but I think I'll do that. And then I thought I'd show you this Christmas one as well. I just used from this same pack of felt, three of the different colors of green. And then before I fused them in place, I added a bunch of little just French knots to add some ornaments to the tree and I just think it turned out so cute. So use your creativity. I can't wait to see all the different versions of these tote bags that you make using these templates and I'll see you next time on At Home. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching At Home. We're so excited to be almost a million quilters strong here at Missouri Star. And so if you haven't already joined our family, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all of our future tutorials and we'll see you soon.